Hello my dears and welcome to another Let's Build <laughs> I they I they just get better. They get every single time I start one of these videos, my intros just get better. And that is the mantra that we are going for today. Okay, welcome back to the Park Lane Apartments. I nearly forgot the name then. But we are here, we are ready to finish off or try and get maybe the kids' rooms done today. Yeah, maybe Veronica's and Axel's room done today. And then the next day I might do um, Patrick's. Patrick? No, it's not called Patrick, it's called Alexander. Okay. <laughs> I need to like start writing down all of my law because all of the law is up in here and not written down anywhere i need to write things down but anyway i had some wonderful ideas off of you guys last time so we're going to read out a few of these comments now starting with this one and this is from uh Lu is, do you pronounce it louise or louise louise dalks probably crucified that apologies patrick 100 has photos of veronica I can imagine she sneaks around with him, calls her dad, because her dad hates the bachelors and they're loud, like, party 24-7. But she gets adrenaline from seeing a boy behind her dad's back and think it's she looks cool because she's going out with an older boy. Maybe she genuinely loved him at the start, and but saw his toxic traits and isn't into the relationship anymore. But Patrick is threatening her not to leave him by saying he will show Alexander them all the photos. And which she just cannot happen, which I am here for. I am here for it as well, actually. Yeah, I would imagine Patrick being along those storylines. I'm imagining Veronica around about 16. Maybe Patrick's probably in his early 20s, like 21, maybe. Maybe a bit older. Um, Which, if they were having a relationship, that is legal in the UK for a 16-year-old to go out with someone in their 20s. Which, yeah, it's not, like, looked upon very nicely looked upon a bit weirdly but it is a legal thing it might be different in your countries and by no means either i had a comment am i kind of sweeping over the issue of patrick being an absolute skis and it is wrong what patrick is doing i think that would be pretty obvious to the well the decent humans out there um so i just wanted to reinstate that fact before i get somebody else in the comments spouting out their opinions <laughs> um next where are we we are going next to evie weevy i love that name i think veronica totally bullies zoe Merc mercilessly mercilessly taking on some of that resentment that alexander had for zoe's dad maybe veronica doesn't have a great relationship with her dad perhaps he's totally uninterested in his kids and when he does talk to them he snaps at them he buys them excessive gifts to make up for it. And Zoe, Veronica blames Zoe for her dad for it, thinking that maybe if he didn't take the job that Alexander wanted, maybe he'd be nicer. I kind of like that way. I wouldn't imagine Zoe, like, taking shit from Veronica. I would imagine Zoe being pretty, a pretty tough cookie. Um, So I think Veronica maybe doesn't bully her as such. They just don't get along. They just don't get along. Um, I don't think Zoe would stand for shit. In fact, I reckon Zoe would punch Veronica in the face if she had anything nasty to say about her or her family. So maybe it's just this underlying like feud between them and they maybe even pretend to like get along just to make life a bit easier. I kind of like that. So yeah, thank you, Evie. Love it. Okay, and the last question is from Luna Lumos. I love that name. Give me all the Harry Potter vibes and I'm here for it. I feel like Veronica appears to be the perfect student, but actually she pays other quick kids to do her homework so she, she can keep up appearances. I love that. She has Palomino ponies in Brindleton Bay at a prestigious stable and spends her weekend ordering people around at the polo club of, in her royal equestrian gilet. I love that as well. Um, her dad wants her to give them up as they're so expensive, but she has the biggest tantrums. And she guilts him into letting her keep them, blaming him for a mother leaving for a more adventurous, wealthy oligarch. Oh, I love the word oligarch. Yeah, I love that. Luna, I'm here for that idea. Really, really much am. I did say, like, I could imagine her having, like, horses and stuff. She would have been definitely be a horse girl, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, yeah, I love that. And being in Brindleton Bay is just perfect. Cherry on top, my love. Yes. 
yes, I really those three comments, I don't know, they just really popped out to me. I loved them. So thank you very much. Thank you very much for those comments, my friends. I appreciate it. But I think for now, we're going to get into game and we're going to start decorating the bedrooms. Okay, so here we are. Back at the apart well the last apartment now really um nothing much has changed since last time i did go on your guys idea of swapping over the office to the ensuite that was definitely um a very good point i'm glad someone pointed that out uh i just obviously it makes more sense to have a window into the office and not into the toilet because nobody wants to be staring at alexander when he is getting a turtle's head out do we because that's just not a good look really much isn't so this is Veronica's room. I've obviously put some white floorboards down with some lovely pink pastel wallpaper. I just thought it would suit her to the ground. We are definitely here for it. I'm thinking with her room, she would probably invite a lot of friends back and stuff. So we do need a kind of hangout space somewhere. Definitely going to go for a double bed, but we'll push it into the corner. Um, because Alexander would not allow boys back to this place. I really like that idea um yeah we're gonna we're gonna do it we're gonna do it i would imagine her having a four poster i very much would but i'm just <sighs> with the four poster beds they've all they're all very themed they're all very themed and you can't really fit a lot of them in even though there is only a few of them like this one would work in here but it's just i would love if this was just in a, a different variety of colors i mean i didn't mind the yellow one then what color was the wood I don't mind that. It's got the pink curtains going on as well. Oh, I think we're going to do it, my loves. I think we are. First off, I'll push this into the corner. Let's see how far we can get in. There we go. This is going to leave a lot of room to play around with then, which is cool. Yeah, I do like that. She's into a yellow as well, obviously, from her outfits and stuff, which I'm here for. I really much am. Um, And thank you guys as well for all your lovely replies on my message yesterday i took the day off yesterday because obviously it was tom's birthday tom is my boyfriend's name um and we just had a nice day we had a really nice day i baked a cake in the morning and was flapping about in the kitchen like mary bloody berry um and what, what cake it was a vanilla and walnut sponge with a chocolate orange buttercream it's very nice it was very nice and I was here for it. We're going to need to bring... We're going to need to warm up some of the woods in here, aren't we? So we're not going to be able to use that one because the woods are too warm on that one. Do we have one that is just right? That's not going to fit with the aesthetics in here. It definitely needs to be some just a little bit more clean. Clean lined even. Yes. Um. No, not you either. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not the one that we want. It is not the one that we want for in here. What about if I... <clears throat> Just thinking, I'm not sure I like the bed there. What about if I push it up into this corner instead? But then it's cutting off a lot of space down here, isn't it? I mean, I could... <gasps> oh, I know what I'll do. I'll add in a little screen here. Maybe use the spa day one. The spa da. We could use the Spada one. No, this one. I mean, it would fit her vibe. Let's have a little look at the swatches because I don't think we're going to get ones that's going to match away. No, the only one is the white, really. Because we could put that like kind of... No, no, it's not right. It's not right. It's too like... She would be a bit more prissy with her things and that there's just a little bit too like... Yeah, we could actually move the bed away from the wall. I think that's what's really throwing me. It's having this bed right up against the wall. We don't necessarily have to have a side table on each one. Maybe I'll do a side table on this side and a lamp on this side. So maybe just a really lovely lamp. A lovely, lovely lamp. Um, I have my new camera as well. Uh, 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 as well. I have my new camera. It is came. It is great, but it didn't come with the SD card that I ordered for it. So I've not been able to use it. <laughs> so I've had this new camera for the past few days and I've not been able to even take a fucking photo because I haven't got a bloody SD card that will work with it. I do have other SD cards at home, but it needs like a specific like 4K fancy one. But um, it should be arriving today. Lovely. Um, 
but I'm going to wait until I'm in my office before I actually set up the new camera and stuff because yeah I just think it would work well that way okay I've done nothing in this room for the past 12 minutes apart from put a bed down so something is just telling me that this is not working <laughs> it's just not working and I'm not here for it right she would definitely go a little bit more girly with the with the lamp we need some more lamps we really do what can we use i'm gonna find one one second there's nothing really that kind of fit the aesthetics of it so i've gone for some, the most plainest one that we can get just to go into the corner it just gives it a nice little glow in that corner there and i'm here for it um so we're going to struggle now with some bedside tables to try and fit something in that will fit in with what we've got Ooh. oh see look at the size of it i can't i cannot with the size of these <laughs> I really want to just slap these side tables across the cheek for being far too big. I really do. They are absolutely ginormous and there is no need for them. I could move a family of four sims into a side table and it wouldn't look out of place. <laughs> really good. <laughs> I mean, that's not... That's massive, isn't it? And it's the wrong coloured wood as well. Oh! Oh, that one fits. Yes, we'll go for that. Yes. Even though it's absolutely ginormous as well. But we're going to do it. I'm going to make sure that that door doesn't cut into it there. It doesn't. It's not cutting into the wall either. I might just shuffle the bed out just slightly from the wall. There we go. Yeah, that's a bit better. That fits in with the wood tone and stuff. And I'm, yeah, I'm there for it. I wish we had some like photos of, um, should we put a little plant up there? Oh, she would love flowers. I would imagine her being a very... Very partial to a flower or two. Oh, that one doesn't go up on there. Well, it bloody will when I'm finished with it, darling. Plop that in the corner like that. Oh, yes. That's definitely her. Yes, yes, yes. And then I'll put a little... A little photo up here. A little photo. Let's go into um, parenthood, actually. Because I know that they've got some good kind of teeny... Teeny? Teen stuff. If I remember rightly. Yeah, like these bits and bobs. No, maybe not that. What's that? Oh, that's that that decal. I mean, this would suit. Maybe not that. Would she be into bands? I wouldn't imagine. She, I think she would be more into fashion. I think she would definitely be more into fashion and stuff. Without a doubt. So maybe we can give her a big, like, fancy... Um, We'll give her a big, fancy, like clothes rail from Moschino from the Moschino pack yes does this have a matching tone with this no not at all not at all oh that's a shame that would have been the perfect like really good dresser for in here I mean I could mix up the whites and the warmer wood I'll leave that out just in case just in case and then I'll get that Moschino clothes rail out for in here does this come in a lighter tone as well oh it does yeah well in fact what i'll do what i will do we could have a built-in wardrobe moment oh i just got rid of that i didn't mean to i meant to get rid of that we could have a, like a built-in wardrobe moment like and then it would give me wall, more wall space to have this like hangout area over here that's a good idea i'm very much into it we're gonna do it we're going to do it and it's going to be fabulous. Um, Did I give him one? No, I didn't. So I'll go and get one from here. I think it's like the white ones. Oh, it's got pink. Oh, it's very pink. Yeah, that's too pink. That's too pink. I mean, yes. And then we could put this over here somewhere with a dresser. Or I could just do this with a big mirror. And maybe like a... A desk area as well yes i could put a mirror there that would look we could do that big floor leaning one. Oh, that's the perfect swatch as well oh well, isn't that fantastic that is slap your tits fantastic i love it okay um and a, do, do those fluffy rugs come in a pink that is the question oh it does oh it's like a vintagey rose color oh that's absolutely perfect if i can just pop that like there just under the bed in fact let's do two and then i can oh no not size you down darling 
and then I can flop one just like coming out from under the bed that way. Yes. Yeah, I'm here for it. I am very much here for that. Okay. Okay, so we need a desk. We need a desk in here as well. And this kind of area is kind of coming along. We still need something to go up there. Very much do. And maybe something here as well. Don't know what we're going to do there yet, but we'll do something at least. Um, Desk-wise, I would see her having a bit of a bougie desk. I really would. I'd see her probably having a laptop as well and not so much a desktop. Would this aesthetic fit in here okay? Mm, not really. No, it needs to be something a little bit more. I mean... I mean, that's not too bad. Let me just see the warmer wood. Sorry if I'm like itching myself at the minute. I've just used... I've got a really rich conditioner um, that I don't use an awful lot. And when I do, because it's so rich, it makes my skin itch a little bit. Um, I'm not allergic to it per se. It's just too rich for me. It's too rich for me, but sometimes you've got to treat your hair to an absolute condition. And that's what I had to go and do. I did. Um, I'm not feeling these desks. I think the best one to use would be the one that maybe we've got in a Barb's. In Barbara's and Hector's place. Maybe I could put the desk in that orientation. That could be pretty cool, actually. With a nice wheelie chair. A nice wheelie chair, just in a nice crisp white. Whatever ones have we got in the... Oh, yeah, like the Ikea one. Where are you? There we go. In a white. Or do you come in like a... No, I don't think you do. I think you're very bright. Oh, that's not too bad. Maybe bring in a bit more of that yellow out, actually. Oh, yeah, that's better. Oh, that looks cute. That looks cute. I'm now thinking that this is the wrong desk. <laughs> Uh, the choices, the choices are absolutely endless. Um, Maybe I could do the pink glass moment. Yes, I'm feeling this one a bit more, I think. Yes, that speaks, that speaks to me a bit more than the other one did. So what I want to do is have, this is a homework station and a desk for her like laptop and stuff so what i'll get the laptop out and then she can put the laptop away when she wants to use it for her homework and maybe i'll put a divider behind this here so let me go into dividers let's have a little look in dividers shall we um maybe not you mm. maybe we could frost up the glass no no, I don't think any of these are going to work. I'll have a look. Maybe getting out <clears throat> the one from Dine Out. Oh, will that look really weird in here? That will look really weird. I hate the shadows on this. I think they've overdone the shadows on that there. I know that it's got a lighting source and they kind of want to accentuate that, but I'm not here for it. I'm not here for it. Um, I'm going to find one. One second. Yeah, cool. So we've gone for them one in that pattern. I just, I don't know. It's a bit fun. I can imagine a teen very much enjoying that. So we're going to do it. We really are. Um, and then up here, I wish we had like photos of horses. So we could put some horse pictures up. Because she loves her horses. Absolutely loves her horses. <laughs> that reminds me of another story that I'm going to tell you now. Um, me and my, oh yeah, definitely these. She'd be all about fairy lights. Me and my best friend were in a club once um, and we were in the toilet and we heard this person outside they're very well spoken we heard this person outside of the cubicle we were both having a wee separate cubicles because that would be weird um, and they were obviously pissed out their face and they were telling their friends how much they love their horses um, and all you could hear was them going, oh I just love my horses absolutely love my horses i would do anything for my horses every sentence that they said they finished off of horses so my friend started to make horse noises out the cubicle and you just heard this person is, that, is someone in there and they've gone, 
<laughs> it's, back. it's probably not funny to you guys, but that made me piss myself. I don't know why. I And I couldn't come out of the cubicle for ages because I was dying laughing. We had to wait for them to leave before we could come out. Because <laughs> we were both dying of laughter on the inside. It was a funny, funny day. And he just loved his horses. I love my horses. I would do anything for my horses. Horses. Absolutely horses. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> it was hilarious. They got photos of cats and stuff, but no horses. Absolutely no horses. <laughs> and Veronica would do absolutely anything for her horses. <laughs> Maybe something like this, like a little... This is the photo of her. Yes, we'll do that. That's the photo of her paddock. The view from Brindleton Bay riding stables that she loves so much. I love that. And then up here, where's that like clutter of like homework? Is it? I oh, know that's legal case files. Well, that kind of makes sense as well. I oh, know. There we go. It's not homework, but it looks kind of that kind of way. Do you know? Right, I'm going to flop up a light here as well. A nice little lamp. Um, What lamp did I use? I didn't put one there because I used the big tall lamp. So maybe just something nice and... Ooh, or some flowers. I can imagine her being into candles and flowers. Yes, that looks cool there. Yeah, I like that. What other colours do you come in just in case we've got a muted pink version? I don't think we have, but I'm going to test it. Oh, in fact, that one's a bit better. There we are. Yes. Yes, lovely. I hate what I've done with these here. So what I'm going to do instead is just do that. Do that to there. I mean, I wish they had to, I wish they had more sectional. Oh, long length. Is there a short length one? Oh, there is. I didn't even know that. I didn't even know it. Yes, we'll do that. And maybe I'll just drag them all the way along. No, not you, darling. You. You. There we are. Lovely. Horses. <laughs> I've got that in my head now. I'm going to text my friend after this. I would do absolutely anything for them. My horses. <laughs> Die. Absolutely died, I did. There we go. Um, no, we'll leave that last one off. Yes, that's cute. Okay, so this is like a teen hangout space. So maybe like a little corner sofa moment. Um, still wish that we would get a modular sofa in The Sims 4. It would make so much sense. But, you know, Sims. Um, do we have like a pink blushy colored of this? Or even a yellow. Totes into yellow still. Oh, this looked really cool in here, actually. Yes, we'll do that. Yeah, maybe not a... Uh... In fact, we need somewhere where we can put a stereo. So if I just push this into the corner and maybe just do a small, like, coffee table, like, here. We can put a good TV up on there. Good stereo sound system on the floor here. Um... What would she do? Why should I make that noise? I have no idea. I have no idea. Yeah, maybe like just... I mean, this would never look substantial enough, does it? Well, to me it doesn't anyway. I mean, we could get in this big bad boy. Let's have a little squeeze in, shall we? Flop it in there. Lovely. Eh, no. We'll use this one. We'll use this one. I'll... Take this one to, in fact, I'll put it on this side, like to there. And then what I can do is put another like little side table there. Or even just another little like seating moment. Oh, that is that pink and yellow? It's not the right pink, but I think I'm going to do it. I think I am. You bloody watch me. Look, there we are. Uh, in fact, I'm going to put you there. And I am going to put another table there, I think. No, I'm not. Nope. Changed my mind. Um, I'm very indecisive today. Just to pre-warn you, you've probably noticed, but yeah, very, very indecisive Aiden day today. So you're going to have to excuse it. 
or just accept it. The choice is yours, okay? Now, we're never going to get a matching wood tone with this. So, I think it's going to have to be in a white, isn't it? And the answer to that question is yes. Yes, it is. And I know this has got a stereo on it already, but she wants to. She wants to. If I can put that there. I don't like the stereo there anyway. Maybe we can get rid of it. <laughs> or I put it off to the side here. Yeah, I'll put it off to the side there. Lovely. So somewhere where she can just come and hang out with her mates. And write in the firm book. Yes, I'm feeling that. Maybe bring in another one of these rugs over here. Oh, no, not you, darling. Comfortably plush. I love that word, plush. Plush rug. Is it, is it overkill with three of them? Maybe it is. So maybe what I'll do is keep this one on that angle because I like the look of it. But just like put it over under that edge. Yeah, that's better. Maybe just twisting it just, just so it's like there. Yes, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Okay, now I want those photos of friends. I think it's with the kids' room, actually. Is it with the kids' room? No, it's not. Did they come in there instead? No. Hmm. Let me just find them. So it was the kids' room. It was just in wall lights. I'm silly. I'm a silly. That's all we can say on it. We haven't got anybody that looks really similar to her on there. Wish we could choose the photos to go on here. That would be so cool. Oh. Maybe we can do that and just shuffle this just over a bit so that kind of just creeps through a little bit there. And then it's not squashing the photos. Yeah, I think so. I just wanted something to join onto that. In fact, no. We'll go back. And then we'll pop it to there. And then we'll get another little one. And just go to there. That's a bit better. Yeah, that makes a little bit more sense. Um, and then up here, I think what I'll do is put a, a clock up there, I think. I do love a clock. A nice clock. It's quite a weird word, actually, isn't it? Clock. <laughs> well, it is when you say it like that, Aiden. <laughs> Not the aesthetic. Not the aesthetic we're looking for. I maybe go in a bit more modern. Or this one. That's very school clock, though, isn't it? Very school clock, that one. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we'll pop you there. Pop you to there. I'm going to bring this here. And I am going to put a little, maybe a bookcase. I would imagine a little bookcase being up here. Maybe just something nice and just classic. A classic bookcase. Oh, yes. Like this. We're not going to get matching wood tone though. Because you all know the answer to that. Sims. Or know the answer to it. Maybe I'll plonk that to there. Let's have a look at that. It's up a bit high, isn't it? It's very, very chunky. Yes. Yeah, that's better. Right, we'll shuffle that into there. And then I'm going to do a little small coffee table moment. Oh, I don't want it to squash that area too much. So, in fact, I am going to put that there. Oh, she's not going to be able to get to that bookcase, though. For goodness sake. Sims are so fussy. And use this one. Not going to get a matching tone of wood. I mean, that's not too bad, actually. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. And I think that would have matched in with that quite well. But let's just let's just have a look. Eh, I prefer it in white. I do. I prefer it in white. So we'll pop that to there. Just shuffle you in one, my love. Gorgeous. And then I'll maybe put some clutter on top. But I don't know what. Maybe some tissues. Yes. Just some tissues. So she can mop her brow. <laughs> mop her brow. Uh, do we want anything up there? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Yeah, that's kind of 
saying team to me and it's giving me Veronica vibes. I'm here for it. I am. Okay. Well, we're going to move on to Axel's room now. Okay. Into Axel's room. So it obviously is a lot smaller, but he's the youngest. I'm thinking about maybe going darker with the wood vibes in here. So maybe I'll darken the wood flooring down as well slightly. That's a bit too dark. A bit more chocolatey, if you will. There we go. Yeah, that's better. Yes. Yeah, so well, he's got these lovely little pastel blue walls. I love this bed as well. It's probably one of my favourite children's beds. I do love it. Yes, I'm feeling that. Um, I would imagine him being into gaming as well. I would imagine him being quite heavily into gaming. He hasn't got many friends, so he tends to stay in quite a bit. <clears throat> and maybe he takes an interest in like, I don't know, bugs, collects bugs and stuff. So maybe I'll go into debug and get a few little critters out for him. That could be quite cool. That could be quite cool. Now, where's that sofa actually with the little drawers underneath of it? This one. Oh, don't hate that one. Don't hate that tone. Do not hate it. I do not. That's not too bad either. But I'm kind of feeling that bright little pop of orange with this for some reason. Maybe I'll plonk that to like there. Yes. Yes, I think we will. And then I'll get a nice little... Should we get a unit up here and put the TV on the unit? Instead of putting it on the wall. The choices. The choices. Oh. Oh, I'm not hating that. Never used it in that colour before. I'm going to use it now because why not? That's the question. Why not? We'll do it. Yeah, we'll plonk that one on. This is not filling me with joy now. <laughs> it's not filling me with joy. So maybe, do you come in like a more? Oh, what about that one? I don't want it too blue, blue, blue. You know what I mean? I want to kind of mix it up a bit. Oh, that's better. We'll just do a black and grey. Absolutely. Right, okay. Needs a console. So I'll plonk that down to the side there. Um yellow is very complimentary to blue, but yeah, we'll we'll do yellow. We'll do yellow. Yeah, lovely. Lovely. Very much into that. Okay. And I'm thinking up here, I'm gonna do some shelves above his bed. Um maybe just do like a a row of shelves like so it kind of circles the bed and we'll do it in a nice what color are you i mean that suits the bed quite nicely yeah it does so maybe if i'll plonk one let me just see the height of that to the bed yep that's fine one there one there and one there but we'll do one in the corner as well because why not maybe i could pull this side down just just one. Oh yes i like that Yes, with a little storage box moments he moment here. Or even a toy box, actually. Yeah, cool. I kind of like that. I'm just going to test. I know there's a brown version as well. Oh, I don't know if I prefer that, actually. I think I might go for that one, you know. Or we could bring the black over that's on the little sofa there. Question. Can children still use these if we size them down? We're going to test the waters because I think it would just look a little bit better being a bit smaller there. I think we're going to trial that. We'll trial it to see. So obviously he's got his own little moment out on the balcony here. Like he's got his own little like creative space where he spends time with the nanny getting his homework and what done. Um, I'm unsure if I'm going to give him a PC. I probably will actually. We're going along the lines of the, we're going along the lines of the storyline being. That was probably the worst way I could say that sentence. But he is just a little... They are a little bit spoiled because his, his dad's trying to make up for not being there as much and whatnot. So maybe we will give him a little a little laptop. We'll do the same as what we did with Veronica and give him a laptop. Should we use this chair in here? Oh, I do believe so, yes. I do. I kind of like it being behind the sofa. And then we could do the wardrobes like up here with like maybe a little... A little mirror or something. We'll try that. We will trial it. And we'll give him the same laptop as well. We'll give him the same laptop. Um, 
Mm, we'll have a little look at what else we can put there in a sec. What I really want to do now is get in some of the furniture moments. The furniture moments. Um, We need a wardrobe, don't we? We need a wardrobe. I'm sorry, this uh, video is probably an absolute mess today. But I, uh, yeah, I was saying I'm, my, my head is everywhere today. I've had lots to think about and lots to do. Uh, so I'm probably a big derp today. So apologies to everybody that has to suffer it. I do apologize. Oh, we didn't change the lights in her room. Maybe we'll do that now. I would see it being... Oh, that looks lovely in that light. Oh, I do like that. So maybe we'll do just a nice soft little little ceiling lamp um, lighting up there. And then maybe just like a... Just a real generic... I could even use one of these, but it's not that modern, is it? I don't know. I kind of like that in here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's plonk you there. That's kind of centrally getting light to everywhere then, isn't it? Yes. Yes. We'll do that. Maybe I'll do the same in his room as well. Just bring a bit more of that yellowy tone into here. Warm it up a bit. Why not? Yeah, my thoughts were tomorrow when we do uh, Alexander's bedroom. And office and toilet we'll then go around and do a big tour of the whole apartment just so we're kind of not having a too much of a short part um and maybe just do a little bit of gameplay see what these guys can get up to maybe we'll do that maybe we will okay and a nice big rug in this room a nice big rug um i just had a delivery arrive i heard it hit the floor downstairs and it startled blue <laughs> Blue was like, what the fuck is that? What is that? We're being burgled. We're being burgled. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. And then maybe he's just using the mirror from the kids pack as well. Where are you? I know you're here. Where are you? Am I looking right at it? Probably. I've never ever used this mirror. Probably because it's awful, but I've never used it ever um where is it am i being really derpy oh it's there it's just because it doesn't look like a kid's one okay uh do we maybe bring in a bit more of the blue over i mean we could do a different blue because it isn't the rug there yeah let's do that and we'll plonk it just in the corner just there not that a kid really needs to have a mirror but i don't know maybe he's got a fancy dress box that he likes to practice Practicing the mirror too, as his characters. Okay. Um, maybe a violin. Mm, now I wouldn't see him like being big on the violin, so maybe I could. Maybe he could be in the scouts as well, and that's where he kind of like bullies Pierce a bit. Maybe we could do that. Yes, let's do that. Do you come in like a chocolate? Oh, you do. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll make sure that they've got the the scouts. Um, We'll make sure that we'll get them in the scouts as well for the save file. Just makes sense. Right, now let's get a couple of these up. Um, In a green. And what else can we pop, plop up here? We need some like just generic like toys and stuff as well, don't we? We really do. Robot. All the toys. Hoping that someone doesn't come along like, what is this? I mean, come on. What is that? I do not understand what that is. It looks like a potato sack with eyes on. And I'm not for it. Wow. Okay. We'll put that up there. Horse it. <gasps> We've got to have a horse in here because she is, just loves her horses. She would do absolutely anything for her horses. So where can we plonk you? Oh, I know where we can put you. We can put you there. Do you come in like a white? Oh, no, it doesn't. Damn. Oh, well. Well, she's got a horse in her room now because she is absolutely into them. Honestly, she just loves them. Absolutely loves her horses. Okay, and we get some, can we get books up there? I think we can. No, I don't think we can, actually. Lied. Absolutely lied. Um, Let's go into this way. Boop. And, yeah, definitely can't. What about you? No, you won't go up there either. Why? Oh, why? Just why? 
We'll flop that there, though. Oh, it's not floating. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Um, And maybe just a few little decoration pieces just around, just to bring in a bit more of his character. I think we're not going to be able to, but... We're going to try. Oh, kids clutter. Yeah, I would imagine him being, him being quite messy as well, actually. So maybe we'll do that. We'll plonk a bit of that, like, there. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And we need a few little pieces up here as well, don't we? Don't know what, though. Oh, maybe some homework pieces. What piece colours can we get in there? I like that black one. It's going to bring a bit more of that black in. Um... Maybe this can be the scout's photo and not the same photo that we've put downstairs to I mean, in the living room as the uh, croquet lessons. Robo the friendly circuitry kit. Oh, yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, please be into that as well. And we'll get a little lamp going on this side. Just one of those like big, yeah, these ones. In a blue, obviously. Yes. Yeah, cute. That's kind of come along nicely. What I am going to do is I'm going to put some pictures up just in behind here. Just to sort of make them look like they're resting on top of the uh, shelves themselves. I kind of like that idea. Or maybe a little Barry Trotter. <laughs> Bit of Barry Trotter. One of these as well. Yep, into that. Absolutely into it. And then I'll just pull out a few little other ones. Maybe just like, oh, that could work well in here. Yes, we'll do that. Bit of creativeness. I'm all for it. Um, And then maybe at the top here, I'm going to put another couple of shelves. And I'm then going to put in a stereo up here as well. But maybe just use one of the, like, the wall-mounted ones just to make it look like it is actually resting on there. It's floating slightly, so we'll bring it down. Lovely. Yes, into it. I am very much into it. And here we go for the last little pieces. Um, oh, rockets. Yes. Maybe he's into a bit of space. A bit of space X. Can't wait for the launch. Actually, they had to reschedule, didn't they? Definitely going to be watching that tomorrow. Without a shadow of a doubt. Um, um, He's into gaming, isn't he? So maybe we'll bring a bit of this in here as well. Lovely. So let me just have a look at that. Just together. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, I enjoy it. It's, it's giving me vibes. It's giving me Axel vibes. I'm here for it. And the same with Veronica's room as well. Yeah. Okay, cool. Right. This is where I am now going to leave you. I am. Because my head is a big McFud McFuddle. My head is a big McFuddle today. Okay. We're going to go with that. And um, tomorrow I'm going to be back for the last episode and last part of Park Lane Apartments. We'll get Alexander's room, office and toilet completed. And then I'm going to go into gameplay for a little bit and just shuffle around and see what see what we can get up to. I think that could be quite funny. Could be quite funny to just finish off the Park Lane Apartments with a little bit of gameplay. Um, and then maybe something we can think about for the future as well then. But yeah, there we go. My friends, thank you so much for coming today. Sorry about the bloody shambles and McFuddledness that this has been. Um... <laughs> I'm going to go away now. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Thank you for the support. Goodbye.